that's a good one. Maybe close to four kilos, I think, so that should keep us up there, give us a shot to win the Australian Open. So head back, way I'm in. See you then. That's a good one. Happy days. All right, day one of practice for the Daiwa Brim Australian Open 2023. So. Just launched in the Middle Harbour, only a couple of minutes from the house, so nice and convenient. And we'll get out in the water and kind of have a look around. And this year, the Open's a little bit different. So normally, the last couple of years, it's been Sydney Harbour the first day, the Hawkesbury in the second, and then Sydney Harbour again on the third. We've got an ABT qualifier this weekend on the Hawkesbury. So for that reason, the Open this year is all three days on Sydney Harbour, back to what it used to be originally. So I haven't actually fished an Open back when it was three days on Sydney Harbour, but the uh, Sydney Harbour is notoriously fickle and, and very hard to replicate stuff from the day before. So the aim of today is to fish a lot of uh, kind of new stuff and different stuff. I don't really want to touch any of the stuff that I want to fish tomorrow uh, or during the tournament. And probably what will happen is each day I'll fish new areas and new stuff. So we've got quite a big field. I think it's about 35 boats. That's so a pretty decent field for the Open. 35 boats in three days plus a pre-fish day on Sydney Harbour. You're going to have to have a lot of spots up your sleeve, a lot of stuff to fish um, just to last the three days. So it seems pretty simple just to go out and catch brim in Sydney Harbour. And it can be, but during the open when you've got 35 boats trying to do it, all of the obvious stuff all gets hit. So you've got to find some, some stuff that maybe not everyone's found or, or be willing to kind of uh, go and try some stuff maybe not everyone is. So aim of today is to try and find a couple of new spots, try some places I don't normally fish, see if they're there and then we won't really try and catch too many today because everyone we catch today will be one that we uh, don't catch during the tournament. So we'll uh, get on the plane here at a Middle Harbour and go and see if we can't find a few fish, eh? Look at that mate. Alright, so first fish of practice. Just throwing a little spike around like I like to do. He's a decent fish, he's heavy and the open now is a weigh-in comp so he's the right kind too. So we'll put him back and see if there's a couple more in. Problem with fishing the washes. Get it snagged, there's no getting them back. Go on. It's a cod or something, a wrasse or something. Alright, so three lost lures along there. A couple of brims. Not a bad little start. I've never actually fished that wash before, so put that one in the back of the mind for later in the week. Just going to retie a couple of things now, put some spikes back on those crankbait rods and go and try and find some more little areas. So. And this is how to lose a crab one in one. Yeah, that's a, that's a snag. Should have known better. Oh, big blue groper. See him? See the blue groper? Oh, that's a bait. That's a nibble.
All right, so just a little fella on the spike, right up in that shallow washy stuff. So chuck him back and see if there's a couple more. Next spot, go into uh, North Harbour, have a look. Maybe stop for a coffee. Okay. Yeah. Try the net on. Put the net on, Harry. Oh, that's a good one, Harry. Oh, he's coming in, he's coming in. And a semi-decent one for practice. There's obviously a couple there I had like three bites and then this one jumped on so that's enough for me. Don't want to catch any more here so let this guy go and we'll move spots. All right so just moved in into a bit more shells with water start fishing a bit of structure and stuff so start having a, having a look around at a few boats see if we can't catch a fish on a risky critter or something and and just start mooching, uh, mooching around all these uh, kind of bays and stuff in east of the bridge and see, uh, see what we can find. Alright, so a couple of fish in uh, North Harbour around Manly and stuff and kind of, uh, it's not a huge area so you don't want to kind of fish too much of it on practice day so I've seen enough that happy to uh, come back here during the comp. So now we'll uh, make the run across, go under the Harbour Bridge and go have a look in the Parramatta River and Lane Cove River and all those places kind of up uh, west of the bridge so we'll strap down the rods and uh, make the run across the harbour. Which reminds me I've got to strap down the rods. Boathouse Cafe. Perfect on the water stopping point. Cast a little risky critter in Bloodworm on a 130th. We just swam down and ate it, so not a big one, but might be a good sign. There might be a few in this bay. Just like that, mate. Told you. Not him. He's a good one. Low 30. Let's see if there's more in these boats. Yeah. All right, that's it. So go back to the ramp, pull the boat out. That's practice day done, so.
we're practice done for the Oz Open. So actually a pretty uh, tough day on the water in Sydney. So not, didn't see anyone near as many fish as I'd wanted to, but that's all right. We'll go back, unhook the boat, head to the briefing and assess a uh, game plan for tomorrow morning. So we'll uh, see you in the morning, bright and early, day one. Yeah. Alright, a quick run across the harbour. We're ready to get this started, so 20 minutes till the start, probably a little bit later than we would have hoped, but here now, let's do it. Let's do it. That's my new thing. Every time, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. You know what? Yeah, all right, let's kicking down all the doors, guarantee you boy fires for it. It's gotta be real big. I gotta make it just for my kids and for the kids. All right, day one underway, Oz opens. Got a uh, probably 10, 15 minute run back to Manly. So we'll uh, see if we can't catch an early limit. Stayed up on the ground and the cars is real big. I gotta do it big, the only way that I can live. And I promise I'm trying to, before you count me out, homie, let me remind you, they was blocking the shine, now thanks for my time. All right, so first spot, just came over to Manly. Just gonna throw some spikes around these washers and see if we can't pull a couple of brim. Alright, so number one. Took maybe a little bit longer, but there was a seal pulled up where we first pulled up, so I think probably spooked a lot of fish that were on that point, but not a big one, but decent start. Alright, so we'll just have a measure of him so we can put in an estimate. So 29 forker, so he should be like 600 grams, something like that. Like that. Not a big one. Decent. And then out. Yeah. Number two. Same as the last one. Another 600 grammer. Number two. I just literally picked up, broke, broke off my uh, rod that I had the leader on, Braden leader, so a little bit heavier crankbaiting kind of setup. Broke that lure off and broke my leader knot, so picked up the straight through and first cast. Another one down. And everything but brim. That's a brim. I think. Feels brimmy. over 30 so it should be about yeah, 700 grams I might see you're still just chilling on that point eh oh 
had it for a second there. Yes! It's the first snag I got off. Yeah, there's a big, there's a good rock here somewhere just out off the edge. All right, so I've been fishing for probably about an hour. Um, just quarter past eight. Got three in the well. Yeah, I would have blocked probably a few more by now, but pulled up on the point I wanted to start at and there was a seal there, so that's usually not a great sign. Didn't really catch much there until we got probably a couple of hundred metres away from the seal and then we've started catching them. I'm on a bit of a shock and run with lost lures. I'm up to, I think, seven, seven lost lures at the moment, so expensive morning so far. Sitting down for a second time, lures on, because I was picking up rods, just getting snagged and cast into someone's fence. It's been a good morning. <laughs> Cameraman's fallen over, taking a wave over the front. It's the eyes open, <laughs> what do you expect? That's a good one. That's a good one. Don't go in there. Oh, he's on the wall. He's been coming. He's been coming. Yeah, so it's first decent one of the day. 35 forker, so he's about 950 grams probably. That's number four, right where he should have been. Oh, that's a big one. Oh no, it's not that big. Twenty-seven and a half. Yeah, boy. Right, so eight thirty, got our limit. So a good start. Definitely, probably three that we want to be able to get rid of by the end of the day. But got one kind of kegger around a kilo, about nine hundred, nine fifty, and then uh, just a bunch of six hundred, pretty much. So right. spot change. All the tides up. Get one last crank in the spot in. No, was it? What was it? Yeah, that one's heaps thicker. Twenty-seven. No, up, no upgrade. So sixth one, no upgrade. Tracking back. All right, so quarter to ten. Got our five. We've caught six fish. Got one that was uh, not an upgrade. Just going to make a move now and probably go fish the spit bridge. Yeah, it can be good for a big fish or two. So go uh, fish some deep bridge pylons and see how we go. Sitting first at the moment, Morgo's got about 100 grams behind, but I've probably overestimated a couple of my fish. Yeah. For a while though. Probably haven't fished it for a while too. Oh, yeah, there might have been a tailor. Good enough. Uh, 
Now the little one is the same size as the one I've got in there. The smallest one I've got. So a bit of eyeballing. Now I've green. Oh. Oh, that's it. There's heaps there. Yes. Yeah, keep going. Three tar time. Got snagged a couple of times around the poles, so always handy just to retire. Beautiful. Busted. Dangerous cast. Instant busted. Wind's really got up now. Alright, so that's it for the day. Got the five, but not the size we wanted. We should be in the top ten, but certainly uh, haven't fished our way out of the open. Hopefully we get a mid fours bag tomorrow. Get this uh, weighing in underway as soon as we get this live stream hammering. Toy Slater, channeling that sponsor karma mate. 3.385 mate, there you go. Yeah, alright, there you go. Take Yep. Two biggest for the day. Would have liked two like that one, but not too bad. 3.3 kilos. Try to go for four tomorrow. Alright, so day one finished up. We've got uh, Uncle Wally in the lead, 3.6 kilos. Uh, I weighed in three, just under 3.4, so I think I'm in fourth or fifth, so super tight at the top. Uh, which is what you wanted in Oz Open, so I uh, really need to work out how to catch them better in the afternoon. We caught them good early this morning and then really kind of struggled after that, so back to the house, re-rig, come up with a game plan for tomorrow, I think. Four and a half kegs, that's the goal. Alright, so day two of the Daiwa Brim Australian Open. Just launched the boat, driving over to Dremoyne for the start. Got about half an hour before things kick off, so fingers crossed five big bites today. That's what we're looking for. So welcome anglers to day two of the Daiwa Brim Australian Open. Wally Fay leading this event with just under 3.7 kilos of brim. Good luck today. All right, day two underway. Let's do it. Unscorable. Decent one. Second one on the stick. 34 and a half, so it'd be about 900. It's number one, baby. 
So eight o'clock, that's number one in the well. A little bit slower than yesterday. We would have had three probably by now yesterday. But um, seems to be fishing a little bit tougher, but hopefully we can pick a couple more and then bounce around another couple of washes while that tide's up. I actually had my little snag then and I was flicking it trying to get it off and it ate it off the snag. So you always hear about that in comps. Guys are like, oh, it ate it off the snag. It's never happened to me until now. He's legal, but he's not big. He'd be like 250 grams or something. So very small. That's big. That's big. The rolling crank? Any good? 33 or something. Number four, I won't need to upgrade him. If we do, we've had an awesome day. 34. Probably a lesson in that fish just then. I snagged on the rock and so there's three three rocks that come out off the edge here. Um, and I snagged on top of it with the first lure. And rather than going and trying to get it off, just snapped it off, picked up another lure, fired in there and caught that fish because it's such a little key spot along this wall. Anytime you get a little rock that's coming out, that's where you're gonna get a fish. So Cost me a lure, but got me a big one. So I'll take it. Just uh, tie a lure under this rod. Go crank some more washers, see if we can't get the fifth. There's a bite. Silver grass. It's a brim. It's a tiny one. I don't think so. Oh. 26 tip? It was tip. Number five. Barely keeper to a, a 26 tip, 26 fork, 300 grams or something. All right, so 10 o'clock, got our five. Morgo's got his five as well. There's three grams between us on the uh, unofficial scoreboard. So very tight at the top. Cranking's over, so time to go uh, throw some risky critters around, see if we can't upgrade. Let's do it. That's a brim, that's big. Doesn't feel very green. All right, so cameraman's curse, we were changing out the memory card and I just caught that thumper. So he's a huge upgrade. That's gonna upgrade like a 26 forker. I don't know what I'm gonna to do tomorrow. Yeah, it blew up like midday.
That's a good one. Upgrade number three. Upgrade number three. This time I've got a grab, I've got a sixteenth on just so I can skip it as a rope here, so need a bit extra casting distance. Pop a tag in him and put him on the balance beam. That's what we're getting rid of. He's by far the smallest one in the bag now, so he's out. Another upgrade. Pretty happy with the bag, so I think what I'm going to do is go up somewhere uh, and do a bit of almost pre-fishing for tomorrow. So, you know, you never know, you might get an upgrade, but we need to find somewhere to catch some numbers of fish tomorrow. So, we'll uh, see how we go. Is that Kevin Costa? <laughs> All right, that's day two done. We got it done, good bag. Probably maybe close to four kilos, I think. So that should keep us up there, give us a shot to win the Australian Open. So head back, weigh him in. See you then. All the people down that camera want to hear about this. Catching on the spikes today is probably your favourite. No, I actually got him on the beach. Alright, leaving him in there, Tommy Slater. Hang that bag end over the edge and uh, come and have a chat to us because you and I were having a bit of a battle at the top of the leaderboard today, mate. It was sort of coming and going. You got away early and then you slowed down, but then you picked up again at the end and it looks like it's going to be tight going into day three with the spikes doing the damage for you again today. They did, yeah. Yeah, got, got my limit on spikes and then a few upgrades on uh, wrist. 3.2 to be a new leader. Let's get him on. Tom Slater. How about 3.59? Bang, that is right on. That link weight could rock. All right, mate. Go and uh, let those go. And if you can grab my fish at some stage too, if you can... 3.415, mate. There you go. So there's your weight ticket. That will stick you in second place, I think, at the moment. All right, so day two finished up, improved by three spots, so sitting in second now, but uh, the lead is jumped. So Morgo's probably got a three or 400 gram lead, I'll have to double check, but he's certainly catching them. He's worked out a little pattern and he's definitely getting more bites than the rest of us. So someone's gonna have to uh, get a big bag tomorrow to catch him, I think. So fingers crossed it's me, Chris is in third. Uh, so we've got two chances for one of the Darwin guys to win the Australian Open. So fingers crossed it's me and we'll get a big bag tomorrow. Welcome anglers to day three of the Brim Australian Open. This is moving day. The winner takes home $6,000 in cash. Is it gonna be Steve Morgan, Chris Hickson, or Tom Slater, who are the top three anglers at the moment? Day three underway. See if we can catch more go, eh? First spot. This fish in a spot called Bottle and Glass. So another little washy area. It's usually pretty good on a high tide. 
we'll give this a quick go and then we'll run over to our manly spot. Headed off the snag again. One. Number one. So that one ate it off a snag again, so that's two days in a row that's happened to us. I was just saying how that has never happened to me ever. Now it's happened two days in a row. So we'll take it. Alright, so first little stop I thought I'd just stop one bottle and glass quickly and we managed to get one so that was worth spending the 15 minutes. Now we'll go to Manly where we've been catching. So just got number two, pretty small one, but we'll take him at the moment. It was kind of where I started catching them yesterday, the same stretch, so. That's a good one. Ah, it's a rest. Oh. That's a good one. Looking at that rock for two days, haven't got a bite off it. Number three. All right, so you saw me get frustrated before, I busted off. It's probably my own fault. Snagged the five pound rod, and instead of retying the five pound, I picked up the light rod. Couldn't stop it, and then uh, fished another 100 meters, and then came to this next rock. It's got a 30, 30 forker off it, so not a huge fish, but we'll take it. And now snagged again. Alright, first stop, we've got three off it. So it's the worst I've done so far. Normally I've had four or five off that first run but that's all right we'll go fish around a couple more it's only nine o'clock so there's still plenty of time get our five let's do it Probably the last last wash we'll get the fish. 
towards in the start of Middle Head, uh, Middle Harbour. Legal brim possible. Very, very small. Alright, number four. Definitely need to get rid of that one if we're to have any hope at this thing. Right, so about 10 o'clock update. Got four, two pretty small squeakers and two half decent ones. So had my chances, lost a big one this morning. That's uh, probably gonna cost me, but We'll uh, keep fishing, hopefully we can upgrade those two little ones and get another, uh, another fifth, so that's the idea, see how we go. Big one, but number five. Took long enough. Ten past eleven. It's got our fifth. Much later than I would have hoped, and much smaller. Well, at least we got five. Now we got to upgrade three of them. Got to get another. Really got to upgrade. Three of those ones, if we have any shot. So start fishing back down towards the start line, fishing isolated bits of structure, jetties, mooring uh, poles, ferry terminals. See how we go, hopefully we get a few big bites. Go and fish the houseboat in the club. Go fish the that jetty we missed one on yesterday. And bites off both days, never caught any. Oh big one. I got him! Oh no, it's not the big one. Oh, there's kingies there too. Oh, get under that right. There's like seven kingies underneath there. Okay, that gets rid of that tiny okay. one. Swap him for him. One goes. Okay, so I got that one just on a bloodworm grab. One twentieth. Bait junkie jig head. Yeah, I'm just gonna fish the front side of this one. Catch one here eventually. Upgrade something. Just saying, I've got to catch one here eventually, and I did. Risky critter. One upgrade down. Get rid of him. One more down.
definitely don't have enough. I need probably two big bites in the last half an hour to make something happen. Yep, last spot. Just never happens on the last day for me. There's some. Oh, there's a lot. It's not massive, but it's an upgrade. Oh, how's that? Last cast. Not quite. Michael Colaturis Heroics. 42 Forker, but I'll take it. That's it. And away I'm in. See how we go. them off the boats on that Kodachi in the Sydney Suji colour. Exactly the same thing as I always use it mate, that was getting it done. Sports of Angler, well known for his bass exploits, where you were, he called the Prince of where? Prince of Glenbourne? No, no, it's just a Prince of everywhere mate. How about 4.32 kilos on the last day of the over mate? Well done. A Victorian is in the lead. Uh, we have some more anglers coming up to the scales at the moment. I think we're around halfway through the way in at the moment. Well, I'm going to stop and fish that. Caught it, upgrade. Next boat, saw another one, upgrade, and then it was like, oh, well, they're on boats, let's go into Lane 2.885 to take the lead. I reckon you're going to go real close. 2.885 to take the lead. You're now leading. 3.05 kilos. <laughs> Proving once again your crap at Boyang Fish. Just go put them in the bunker. Tom Slater, no fish. Bring yourself. Are you excited when you get an upgrade on the last cast? I was more... I probably should have been more excited, but I was probably a little bit defeated, to be honest. All right. Well, let's have a look here. The screen here says you need 2.91 to take the lead. How about 3.13? We have a new leader. <laughs> that put them back in the bunker. Take your ticket. Do we have a, we have a wait? Are we doing? 2.695. 3.595. There you go, mate. Well done. Always feel like a bit of a tool when this happens, but uh, there you go. Um, I really don't know what to say. I've always, always sort of uh, got words in the mouth, but I don't really have many at the moment, so we're going to wrap up the live way in here. Okay, so that's it. The Daiwa Brim Australian Open for 2023 has been won by none other than Steve Morgan. He uh, pipped us at the post. I said this morning at the takeoff, we catch four kilos today, we win the Open. And that's what it would have taken. I, would have, I think I would have needed 3.9. I weighed uh, just under 3.2. You saw the lost fish. Would it have been enough? Don't know, but we'll wait until next year. We'll give it another shot. Finished up in second, bit of a paycheck. We'll catch you next time.